Today I will show you all the secret characters, the hidden character, as well as 4 secret codes that you can type in for some bonuses. But don't worry about the long video, I will use segments just like on most of my guides, so you can just jump to the parts that you want to see, and you can check out the description which will have a list of all of them. Whenever you successfully unlock a secret character, then you will hear a sound go off and you know that it worked out. As the first character, we have X-Dash. His stats are quite bad and his level up bonuses are 10% luck every 10 levels 5 times. That means at level 50 he will have a bonus luck of 150%. All you have to do to unlock him is just type in the code that you see on the screen right now in the main menu over here. If this doesn't work for you, I recommend using the Windows keyboard, open just like I show it here, or to simply not use the numpad. Don't use the numbers there, don't use the enter there, just use the generic ones. Next up we have Toasty and just like with X dash the stats are not amazing, but she has only 1 HP. Instead of getting 10% luck every 10 levels 5 times, she gains 20% for a total of 200%. However, she also gains 9998 bonus HP once she reaches level 100 and at level 200 she receives 65520 armor. This one is a bit more complicated to unlock. What you need as a requirement to unlock it is you need to have X dash already. And after that, all you have to do is go to a stage that spawns the Drowner, the Stalker, and this most likely also works with the Trickster. You have to make them disappear either with the Rosary or with the Gorgeous Moon, that being the easiest method, or you could do it on the Dairy Blend with the Stalker that only has a chance to spawn, which is reduced if you have higher luck. But there you can also do it with the Minecart that spawns on the stage. My advice is to do it on the new map Capella Magna, and if you don't have the patch yet, then simply do it on Gallo Tower, the Drowner spawns there at 25 minutes, when you are below the Crab Boss that spawns. Or you can do it on the bone zone at 20 minutes, there will be a drowner if you walk down. When you hit them either with the gorgeous moon, with a rosary or with the minecart, Toasty will appear on the bottom right and you will hear this sound blade. Panini. Spam downwards arrow key and enter and you will unlock Toasty right after that. What I'll do is... Did you... No! I missed it! No! <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. Spam, spam. Oh, oh, I just maximized my window. I'm spamming it. Uh, or stop that. That's not that's not funny. Did I do it? Yes! It worked! Next up, we have Agent Smith. Well, actually, he's called Smith, but I renamed him. And yet again, his stats are quite horrible. However, his level ups pack a punch. On every single level up he gains 0.01 regeneration, 0.7% power, speed, duration and area, speed being projectile speed, negative 0.25 cooldown, so every 4 level that's negative 1%, and 1% luck. Yes, this is all on every single level up that he gets. No other character gets as many stats per level up as this character. To unlock him and the first part is unconfirmed, you need to own X dash and Toasty. After this, you go into the main menu and you type in spam, then you click on start, you type in spam again, then you click on confirm, you type in spam again, then you go to the stage and then you type in Humbug. Once done, you should have Agent Smith unlocked. Next up, we have Marabio. And the most interesting stat about him is his negative 110% speed. If you combine this with the right amount of speed from the power ups, you can end up on exactly negative 100% speed, which means that your projectiles will not move. They will just stand still. To unlock him, you have to play on the Mad Forest. And there you need to pick up the Skullomaniac and the Pomerula from the map. Optionally, you can also just get them from level ups and max them out. Once maxed out, they will disappear from the stage and this has exactly the same effect. You will see a trail of cakes appear, which you can either follow or 
as I did it, you just stand still and you wait for the boss that spawns to catch up with you. This can take quite some minutes, so I would recommend you doing this as soon as possible, just taking Red Death and running towards the Skullomaniac and the Pomerola to pick them up. After you defeat the boss, you will again hear the unlock sound and then you will have Marabio unlocked. I will skip Missing No for now because this one is not a secret character but a hidden character and we will go to Mena. At this point, make sure that you're subscribed to not miss future videos about Vampire Survivors and other games. Minna is a very interesting character who starts with negative 70% might and gains plus 70% might by level ups. The plus 10 might are received every 3 level ups, that means at level 21 you end up with no penalty to your might stat. What's unique and very interesting about this character is that its might, projectile speed, duration, area and cooldown change every single minute. If I'm not seeing this wrong, then this is a change between halving these values and doubling them. To unlock Mina, all you have to do is go to the dairy stage and select the new arcana that pulls in all the items from the stage. Pick up the cheese that gets pulled in and kill the 7 werewolves that spawn after that. Know that it's very important that you actually kill them and too much curse might make them go off screen and despawn or just running away will also make them despawn. Optionally you can roam around and look for the cheese, someone said it's to the top right of the starting location, but as you can see this one is a lot easier. Uh, let's go for some garlic, there's the cheese. So as you can see there are seven werewolves, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's very important that you kill all of them. If this fails, if one of them just leaves the screen or so, this will not work. So I think we killed... Oh, one of them got shot away. But I think they get shot away because they die, right? This is a dying animation. Oh, unlock sound! Do you hear it? Okay, okay, perfect, 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 there we go. So let's quit, and now we should have... Where is he? Minna. Next up, we have Leda who gains no level up bonuses, but as you can see, the stats are quite insane. And just like the recent secret characters, he starts with an evolved weapon being the Holy Wand. To unlock Leda, you have to play on the Gallo Tower and walk very, very far down. Eventually, the screen will turn dark and the music of the stage stops playing. You still have to go further down and eventually you'll get to the point where Leda is. Now, if you check out Leda, his movement speed is very low and that is the same case for the boss. So make sure that you take a break every, let's say, 10 seconds for 5 seconds, just in case he spawned, that he can catch up with you. It happens quite frequently that people just pass him and keep on walking and since the boss doesn't teleport, he just walks after you, they completely get lost and don't unlock the character. Do you hear that? Do you hear that sound? You can't really hear it in-game, only when the music pauses. Oh boy. Well, that's spooky. Oh! There he is! Okay, and good to know, the enemies keep spawning. They don't disappear, it's not like a single boss fight. We are pretty much staggering him with Firachi alone. So he's not- Oh my god. Um... <laughs> bad timing. Oh. Uh, don't you just hate it when you're in the middle of a boss fight and suddenly Eminem turns up and performs Crab God? Oh! Wait, I killed him! He's dead! Next up we have Red Death and boy oh boy do I have a long history with this character with all the guides that I did in the past to kill the Reaper that spawns at 30 minutes. To understand, you need to kill the Reaper to unlock this character. The by far easiest way is just to go for Infinite Corridor, the Clock Lancet Evolution, since it halves the HP of every single enemy that it hits with its animation. Do this for roughly one and a half minutes, that means I advise having a lot of revives with the Awake Arcana, Tiragisu and the Power Up, a total of six, and you can go for Laurel or even further for the Evolution, Crimson Shroud. Having Crimson Shroud and 9 armor will mean that you only take 1 damage per hit and a simple bloody tear can out heal that, however that should not even be necessary. Yet again this character has no level up bonuses but an insane amount of max health 
movement speed, might, and probably the best part being that he starts with Death Spiral. Oh, they actually broke my shield. Oh no, what will I do? Well, there we go. Oh. Well, that was it. The problem is you can't run away from this guy. He will always kill you and you... Notice that I have Laurel, by the way. I have Laurel. I should not take damage here. But he moves with me. Bam. Insta dead. And after you revive, you have invulnerability. Watch this. Insta dead. You can't do anything against this guy. Now, before we get into all the secret codes of the game, we will check out the only hidden character missing now. Hidden because you can't unlock him while playing the game and it's only possible via file modification. The entire theme of this character is randomness. The last letter of his name is randomized. His weapon changes between the X and the death spiral as well as all of his stats except for reroll, skip and banish. Whenever you go back to the main menu and click inside of here, you you'll see that it changed this time he has death spiral and the stats also entirely changed. This creates some very hilarious scenarios, aside from the amazing might that I'm having, I also have 258% area. But while some stats can randomize to amazing things, other things are not so great, like for example the growth here will mean I barely level up, my armor is negative and my movement speed is reverted. So just to show this to you, there you go, you just select what you want to have and yeah. My WASD inputs are also reverted as I said and usually this gem here would give you a level up but no longer. You're missing 86% of the growth. I do have a guide on my channel to unlock this character but this guide is slightly outdated since the backup option changed. The method is still the same, nothing changed about that but if you take a look at how it used to be, you just clicked on the button down here and then it would restart your game and load the backup that we added. Edited. Nowadays, when you click on the data recovery and on confirm, it will instead load up the load last run, show local backups and load old system data. Either you do it like in the video that I have provided and you edit the last run backup save or nowadays what I mostly do if I want to edit stats, you have to click Windows R, you have to type in percent app data percent, then you make a backup of your Vampire Survivors folder, as you can see I have mine down below, you click inside of here, you go on saves, then you open the current save file, so yes, I will not do this on a backup, you load that into Notepad++, and this is what the file will look like. It's very important that you have the client closed, otherwise it will just overwrite it. Once you open up the file, simply click Ctrl F, search for characters, and click on find all in current document. This should give you exactly two lines. Double click on the first one and it will take you to bought characters. Simply copy Imelda, paste it after that and replace Imelda with Fino. The same thing has to be done further down the line with unlock characters. So again I go over here and I will just copy whatever is in the first slot, it doesn't matter and I will replace this also with Fino. Now that you're done, you just have to search for checksum and it's very important that you just delete everything that is within these quotation marks. So one double click on it will just highlight the entire string and you delete that. Now you copy everything that is in the file and you go to the homepage that is in the description. You paste in the entire content of the file and you copy the string that comes out of here. Simply click on find next again and you'll be taken back to checksum. Paste in the code in between and now you would click Control S to save the file. Since I did this on the live version, this will immediately be taken over and you don't have to do it via a backup. But mind you, since this is your live version of the game, there's a lot more risk to it than just doing it via the backup. Since I don't want to cover every single possible step and risk and whatnot, I will just link to my guide that I have uploaded and while the recovery method has changed, there's not a lot that changed for you. And now for all the secret codes that exist in Vampire Survivors. I will just insert this video since it covers exactly the same topic 
And note for you, this was done on an entirely fresh save, so nothing was on there yet. So yes, you can do this at any time. The first one is X-X1VIIQ. And there you can hear the sound whenever that happens, you know it worked. This one does the least harm, since yes, you can technically unlock him just by playing the game, but it's super unlikely. The second code is the Konami cheat code. I actually don't know if that's the name, that's just what people call it. It's up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, escape, enter. There you go. And as you can see, we unlocked Motachio now. We also gained 2.8k gold, so you can just buy him right away. Next up we have... R-E-L-A-X-E-N-J-O-Y-L-I-F-E -E. And with this one we unlock the Ilmolis and you can start farming gold right away. And as the last one we have R-A-N-D-O-M-A-Z-Z-A-M-I And with this one we have the very first Arcana unlocked and if you now just go into a game So let's go to Ilmolis just for fun we have Zeroband of Healing. Now before you run off, I simply ask you to check out my channel and see if some of the content might be something for you. I do a lot of Vampire Survivors content, but also unique stuff like modding the game or here I'm using the placeholder character that is in the game, by far the worst one, and attempt to win in a one hour long video. You can also check out the playlist that I have and see if there's maybe something in there that you might be interested in.